What's going on guys? You notice anything different? This is my new studio. So, what do you think? I'm just kidding guys, I'm still in my apartment. This is just a backdrop. Anyway, today we're going to shoot a bunch of interviews for a real estate web series I help produce. About once a month, my client gathers a bunch of industry professionals to be on her show where they discuss all things real estate, particularly showcasing the real estate agents she brings on as guests. We usually film indoors in this event space with these gigantic windows overlooking the New York City skyline. What's interesting about today is we're actually going to be filming the interviews outside. We have to film outside because of COVID and no venue is accepting people indoors. So let's try this. Okay, so filming outside has two main challenges, unfavorable lighting and potentially distracting ambient sound. The shoot starts at noon and the sun is very unforgiving at that hour. It's too bright, it's too harsh, not to mention the inconsistent lighting we'll get with clouds rolling in at random intervals. As far as sound goes, wind is a major concern because it has high potential to distort the audio. And because we'll be directly next to the Hudson River, we're going to expect it to be very breezy. First, let's go over what equipment I'll be using. Four camera bodies. One of them I'm recording on right now. Four lenses, four ND filters, four tripods. Fuck. Two of these Amazon Basics booms, two of these Techstar SGC598 shotgun mics, two wind muffs, two three and a half millimeter stereo extension cords, which are connected to this mic and camera combo, a Y splitter, and of course my x ray color checker passport video. All right, so next, let's talk about how I'll be using all of this equipment to combat the outdoor environment. So four camera bodies and four lenses gives me two setups for each subject of the interview. I have an 85 millimeter and a 50 millimeter for the interviewer, and I have another 85 mil and 50 mil for the interviewee. This way I could have two different angles with different compositions for each subject. I do this because it makes it a lot easier to edit out any errors that may occur during the conversation. Whether it's stuttering or mispronouncing a word or awkward silences or someone sneezed, I can edit out whatever it is and cut to a different camera angle to continue the flow of the video. Next, we have four ND filters. When you're shooting 24 frames per second and following the 180 degree rule while having your aperture wide open for that shallow depth of field, your image is going to be blown out in broad daylight. So these ND filters just act as sunglasses to cut some of that light, darken up the image, and you could properly expose. Uh, four tripods, pretty self-explanatory. All right, now for the two booms. Now, normally when we're indoors, I mic up the subjects with lav mics, but because we're going to be outdoors for this one, I decided on two shotgun mics. The Tagstar SGC598, I've talked about these in a couple of my other videos, super cheap. For the price point, it is very good quality. Being shotgun mics, they are ideal for the outdoors because they reject any audio that's not going to be directly in front of the camera. Because we're in a public setting, we're not going to hear people walking by, the noisy restaurant next door, or cars passing by. Then we have two wind muffs. Can I say muff? on YouTube, I feel like that's. Anyway, the wind muff will go over the shotgun mic. As I said earlier, we're going to be by the water. It is going to be very windy and wind or anything that blows directly into the mic tends to distort the audio and you can't really fix that in pose. So it's gonna sound something like this. When this is on this, this is going to disperse and cut through some of that air, so that way it doesn't reach the mic. All right, next we have the super long extension cords and this Y splitter. So the mics will be boomed up and positioned accordingly for each subject. Then the extension cord will plug into the mic and run down to the Y splitter and then this connects directly into the camera. This Y splitter is a godsend when editing interviews because normally I would have both subjects mic'd up each with their own recorder and then in post I would have to go back and forth between each recording. But because both mics plug into this and this plugs into one camera, not only do I have to deal with one recording, 
but that recording is already synced up to the video. Lastly, we have our X-Rite Color Checker Passport video. I've done a video about this already, so if you missed that one, check the description below. If you don't wanna watch that video, shame on you. But a quick explanation is, I just have the subjects hold this to their face, and that way I could color match across all four cameras so that way the look is consistent. So here's the final look of the interview. Hello everyone, my name is Vanessa Lott and welcome to Showcase Sunday. Today I am sitting here with my friend Ralph. Now tell me with your last name, <laughs> it's Ralph. It's not an easy one. Um, D. Bugnara. D. Bugnara. Yes. Famous <laughs> Ralph D. Bugnara. You're everywhere. You're on Forbes magazine, you're on right. Fox News. Obviously, I'm a big follower of yours, and of course, Thank we're you. friends. I appreciate it. Yeah, I try. Welcome to Showcase Sunday. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. <laughs> so let's get into it. Tell me a little bit about yourself. I was actually surprised at how well it worked, considering how windy it was. You can clearly see that the wind is blowing her hair, but that is not reflected in the audio because all we hear is her voice, and it's pretty clear. Hey, thank you for having me. Absolutely. <laughs> so let's get into it. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Again, that was my first time filming an interview outside, and I'm pretty happy with the results with my low-budget equipment. If you wanna know exactly what I use, check out the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please comment them down below. If you like this video, or at the very least found it entertaining, don't be shy to show me some love, hit that like button. I also wanna give a huge shout out and big thank you to my boy Ahmed. He was visiting New York from Boston, Massachusetts, and he was nice enough to come by and help me out on this shoot when he didn't have to. Bro, thank you so much. Also, check out the description box down below. I have all kinds of good stuff there, including a link to my Patreon profile. If you like what I'm doing and you wanna support the channel, you could click on that link and make a contribution. Thank you again for watching. This is Kevin Mendoza, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.